All right, boys and girls, this is Mike Kelly here, uh, actually from Animators Forum, but I'm posting an iClone tutorial. So this is a tutorial how to use Faceware and use a video using a uh, virtual webcam instead of, a, instead of an actual webcam. So first thing we're going to do is bring up the virtual webcam. I'm using Minicam. I've tried a number of these things, and this one seems to be the only one that can actually uh, work uh, correctly for what I'm trying to do. What we're trying to do is to feed the webcam source into the virtual webcam source into the webcam of Faceware so it thinks that the videos you're playing are what's actually being live and recorded. So that's the idea. And so anyway, so here we have uh, Minicam up and running and we can just take a video and drag it over and put it in here and make it the source that I'm going to turn the, uh, I'm going to pause it here for a moment. That's me. I recorded this. This is recorded at 60 frames per second uh, and in high res. And I want to see if I can get, I, my experiments haven't been that I haven't been able to get uh, 60 frames per second out of Faceware without resampling this. And I have a resampled version of this that we'll use if I can. But we'll start off with, this is the regular version. So this is recorded in high res, 1920 by 1080 uh, on a uh, camcorder at 60 frames per second. The first thing we need to do is make sure over here that we're broadcasting at 60 frames per second. So we are. And uh, resolution is by default low in this kind of test version. If you want to buy, buy a version of Minicam, you can get higher res. But we actually don't want higher res. That kind of defeats the purpose because we can't get the uh, frame rates we need with higher res. And you don't really need higher res for FaceTime anyway. Or FaceWare, I'm sorry. FaceWare, I've got FaceTime in the brain. So I'm going to start up real time for iClone, and I'm going to bring it over here into this system. And you'll notice it's showing now the same video that we have. It thinks that this um, that this virtual webcam is an actual webcam paused over here. And uh, I'm not actually in the. Uh, I got to get into the settings here so I can back this up a little bit. I'm going to go back to the, the very start of this and pause it. This is my neutral expression. So I'm going to do my calibration from there. It's not a very good neutral position, but let's not worry about that. So I'm not connected now. So you can notice that right now it says I'm getting 60 frames per second. Uh, I will get this high rate right now. It's only when I start up iClone and try to record this video in the iClone that this frame rate will slow way down. And that's why we'll have to resize it, I do believe. But I'm going to bring this up here. And now we're going to start iClone. So again, once again, we have Faceware connected. It thinks that Minicam is the input source, but the, in reality, this video that I've got is the input source. And now I'm uh, loading up iClone. <laughs> it's taking a while to load in. Uh, I've always done it in this order. Whether you can do it in another order, I don't know. It's possible. Uh, but it seems to me that you have to have Minicam up to act as a source. So I'm going to drag over iClone over to this side. I have a dual monitor system, which is why this is a little weird. So now we'll go to the plugins and bring it. Oh, actually, first of all, let's load in a uh, project that actually has uh, somebody in it that we can link up to. Load in Lefty the Devil. Take a little while to load this up so we actually have an avatar that we can connect to. <sighs> yes, we're getting there, folks. First time I've actually tried to do an iClone tutorial. So, uh, okay, so there's, so there's our devil here. So in order to connect up to him, uh, we can go to the plugins up here, bring up this, and then pick the character, pick him. And there we go, we're connected up to him. And we also want to record the audio for the Visine track at the same time. That's another advantage to using this video as opposed to a sequence, is that we can record the audio. And the audio needs to come from that virtual can't see here's the virtual uh, um, source so we're actually going to record it from the virtual source over on the other side and I want to smooth the head so I want to do all of those things it says we're connected so let's go back to the face reply and yes we are indeed connected now the problem is when I start playing this you're not going to be able to see the frame rates when I start recording this uh, so I'm going to drag this off to my other monitor and I'll let you know what this frame rate actually stays at or if I can drag it back a year while it's recording and we'll see. But uh, my experience has been that that frame rate drops dramatically when we start this process. So I'm going to record, ready to space, space key to record. I'm going over to my mini cam, my, uh, mini cam 
And again, this is easier for me to work in dual monitors, but uh, but I'll play this. So now I'm playing the video. Oh, right. Go to here. Let's see. I hit exactly. the space bar. Actually, I'm going to play space bar to record. Like this? I didn't yeah, see now my frame rates have dropped way down. You can see frame rates have dropped down. I'm not getting much frame rate here. Notice that's two frame rates there. Dropped way down while it was recording. So that doesn't work. That's not... Uh, not a good place to to start. So what I did instead was what I did. Go back here to the start again. Uh, what I did was I resampled that video. So I have a resampled version of this video that's much smaller. It's it's actually sampled at what this rate is, the 640 by 360. So even though this monitor is only putting out 340, 640 by 360, it's resampling this rate as it's doing that, and that's slowing things down. Uh, oh, you might also say, what about if I optimize the, because uh, Facebook's got an optimization uh, switch that you can turn on. So we'll do that part too. Ouch, although, see, Facebook already sees the resolution coming in at 640 by 40. So really, there really isn't much you can do with the optimization switch. So uh, so not, so not much you can do. So we're going to change this. We're going to drag over the downsize version in here. And we're going to pause this here. Go here, recalibrate again, make sure we're calibrated. Okay, we're good. And then we're going to uh, play this video. Go back to here, record, space key. And now I'm going to go back over to the Faceware plugin. And now you notice our frame rates are much higher. Our frame rates up here is, is 60 frame rates here. It's tracking slower. You might say, well, it's not tracking properly. But it seems to be tracking better when, I, when I'm not trying to also rec record this video at the same time. I can promise you that it tracks fine when I'm not doing OBS on top of everything else here. I'm, I'm asking my system to do an awful lot of things at the same time. Uh, but, but I promise you that, it, that this will work, this process will work. And when you're doing that, then you're getting the, the, uh, the video in here at the same time. And then when we play this back, although we'll have multiple audio tracks, that's one of the things I don't like about the way this process works but yeah see we, we got multiple audio tracks and uh, this is acting really weird now um, but anyway um, that's how to do it. it it works that way so I would resize your video first before you drag it into minicam drop it in here and then uh, follow the rest and everything else should work properly so that's about it